They had a reaction to a joke I made about Peter Ducey of the, of the Fox Imaginary News Channel. <laughs> it's been a whole week since Joe Biden called Fox News reporter Peter Ducey an SOB. Nobody cared outside of pointing out the usual hypocrisy of the left and their media's reaction. Both Biden and Ducey have moved on at this point, so why are these late night comedians not just talking about it, but trying to rewrite the history so they can own the Republicans? The answer is projection and that trademark lack of self-awareness. I have even cringier takes from these painfully unfunny clowns, but for First, let me tell you about PatriotSwitch.com. We all know how the big box stores were allowed to stay open through all of this, while the little guys, small business owners, regular people were forced to stay closed. The wealthiest people in human history got wealthier, while mom and pop suffered. The question is, what are we willing to do about it? How can our voices be heard? We vote with our money. That's how we make a difference. No more shopping at big box stores with products that are stuck on cargo ships. PatriotSwitch.com helps Patriots get away from the big box stores forever. What if a whole bunch of us just banded together and walked away? We can shop Factory Direct at a family owned, Patriot owned, made in America manufacturer. That's exactly why Patriot Switch was created, with regular people like you and me in mind. We can finally stop shopping at these big box stores and take market share away from these companies that don't share our values and transfer those dollars to family owned companies for the future of our country. PatriotSwitch.com. Check it out. They had a reaction to a joke I made about Peter Ducey of the, of the Fox Imaginary News Channel. Now, Peter Ducey. Who are these people laughing at? That's some real top tier comedy right there. I get that comedy is subjective, but the Fox News Imaginary News Channel? You'll find that all of these so called jokes all have the same infantile tone. Now, Peter Ducey is Fox's White House. They call him a reporter, but really, he's a guy who puts on a little show. He asks stupid non questions. In Kimmel's world, real reporters don't ask questions about inflation, which is at record highs right now, by the way, because in Kimmel's words, that's stupid. Again, it's like we're on a kindergarten playground. And just one more quick thing. Even several leftist reporters in the media have come out and said that Deucey's question was perfectly legitimate, especially since it was an economic press conference. To be fair to Peter, Deucey, the question was fairly anodyne. It was just, yeah, well, well inflation. He didn't. That's the problem here. These guys are zealots who only think that their political opponents deserve scrutiny. Not their guys, because their guys are inherently good by virtue of the party that they're in. I mean, the other day, Joe Biden was, didn't realize he was, had microphones on. He called him a dumb son of a bitch. Tough questions, those reporters. America would be clueless, clueless to the extent of the failures and the disaster that this White House has become. Do you know what? I hadn't, you're right, Dip Schmidt. <laughs> nah, just joking. These idiots cheered like they were drunk at the Super Bowl. Do you know what? I hadn't, you're right, Dip Schmidt. I hadn't thought about it like that. <laughs> you know, without hard hitting conservative heroes like Peter Ducey. I'd be embarrassed if I even chuckled at that, much less losing my mind and clapping over Dip Schmidt because his name is Rob Schmidt, <laughs> who, by the way, made a great point about the reporter's role in keeping a check on power. Not lab dog propagandists like Kimmel, Myers, NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, MSNBC, PBS, NPR, and you all know the rest. Both sides of the aisle come together to say Peter Ducey is stupid. Ah. Who the hell is watching this shit? Apparently not many these days, with the top guy being Greg Gutfield over at Fox News. All right, enough of this, Chud. Let's see what late night show host Dennis Reynolds has to say about what a horrible and human monster Peter Ducey is. Republicans and right-wing pundits who support Donald Trump have spent the last few days. <laughs> what was that? Did his voice just crack? Right-wing pundits who support Donald Trump have spent <laughs> All right, you got a laugh out of me, Myers. I can understand why I'd want to have someone in place before Republicans win back Congress because his GOP reaction to Biden's hot mic moment has once again proved in order to be a Trump supporter, you have to lobotomize the part of your brain responsible for shame. That's some real funny stuff you got there, Myers. <laughs> Who the hell wrote this? Think about this. You're stuck in traffic and the lights turn blue. Oh, you got to laugh. You got to light up. Stop talking. 
fucking everything's on. Seriously, fucking learn to take a joke. You need a lot. No, yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. Seriously though, he just called at least 75 million Americans lobotomized. For all things, shame. What should these people feel shame for? Conceivably, being upset by what Biden said, which isn't even true. But if it was, what does that make somebody like Seth Meyers, who had a four year meltdown over Donald Trump, but now thinks it's okay for a president to talk like that to reporters? Oh, but Seth doesn't need to be ashamed about it because it's different when he does it. I'll let him explain. And look, ideally the president would not lob insults at anyone, including reporters, but if we're being honest, you know, uh, it was kind of a stupid question. I mean, really, does Biden think inflation is a political liability? How can somebody be this predictable? He could have literally just said. And look, ideally, the president would not lob insults at anyone, including reporters. But if we're being honest, you know. Uh... It's different when we do it. And yeah, what else could Biden have possibly said in response to a question about inflation except for stupid son of a bitch? But see, that's how these raving psychotics operate. It's like they all took a training class on how best to implement Orwell's worst nightmares. Okay, folks, that's all I have for this one. My brain and soul can only take so much. But if you enjoyed it, please help the algorithm along in my channel by hitting that like button and then leaving a comment to let us all know what you think.